from ABC4 News. And we have breaking news we want to share with you at this hour. Alex Whipple's attorney, that is the man up in Logan, connected to a young child's disappearance. He has informed ABC4 News that Whipple told him the location of little Lizzie's body, and police are searching near her home based on that information. Police are in the area, and we have a live look at 50 North, 400 West. This is the scene going on right now, streets blocked off in Logan. Quite a large presence there. She has been missing for five days. This is five-year-old Lizzie Shelley from Logan. Her uncle, Alex Whipple, has been charged. He was charged earlier today, press conference earlier this morning, right. indicating so. And a lot of serious charges, aggravated uh, murder, child kidnapping, obstruction of justice, abuse or desecration of a body, all those type of things that he was charged with here. This, of course, was not the ending that we were no. hoping for. We understand the police chief there in Logan had been saying that Alex Whipple was uncooperative at a time, but now it appears that he has been talking to his own attorney, court-appointed attorney, and has given the location of Lizzie Shelley's right. body and this afternoon. And something that couldn't happen even a few years ago, the AG's office here in Utah, and we've done stories on it, uses, using a method called rapid DNA. Mm -hmm. And so they were able to take blood and other things that they found right away and run a scan on those and run those through the machine and find that out. That helped them, I'm sure, no doubt, got, uh, led to the charges against Alex and then his apparently telling the attorney where her body was. And according to those charging documents, they found items of clothing that Lizzie Shelley had been wearing the night before. Remember, she went missing and she disappeared from the family home Saturday morning around 2 a.m. They described that she had a teal skirt and a 4th of July themed tank top. It appears, according to those charging documents, police and investigators found those items right. apparently with bloodstained uh, forensics. Right. And our team, of course, is in Logan. As you can see, we are taking a live look of where that search is going on. And, and yeah, the, and, the, and that whole play, that whole thing plays out into Friday night. Lizzie goes to bed, according to her mother. Uh, Alex comes over. There's some drinking going on Saturday morning. Someone says they see Lizzie even as late as, like you said, two in the morning, still in bed. But at 930, when the mom and other people get up, Lizzie's gone. Alex gone, is gone. Police eventually locate him at three o'clock that afternoon. So several hours had gone by by the time they found him. And we wanna give you some context here. We're looking at 50 North, 400 West, Logan City. This is very close to where the family home is. The family home location address is 111 South, 400 West. So we're only talking about a block or two right. away from the crime scene. So not far, they're finding Right. Potentially. And when it all started, as you remember, Alex was seen on some uh, some security cameras, and so they were focusing on where he had been and all along. And it looks police like he was right there. knew from the start because Whipple was on foot. He did right. not have a car, so they knew they were looking at a very small, small area. Right. Very small radius. So again, uh, Alex Whipple apparently telling his attorney, his attorney telling us that he told police where they could find five-year-old Elizabeth Shelley's body after he was charged with aggravated murder and child kidnapping, among other charges today. And we of course are in contact with police no official word again this is coming from uh, the defense attorney right there in logan city this is a live look at the house there and we're presuming this is at 111 south 400 west not far from the crime scene that we're looking at where uh, lizzie shelley lived yeah. Again, Lizzie, uh, Elizabeth Shelley, Lizzie, as everyone has been calling her, disappearing on Friday, or excuse me, on Saturday. Saturday morning. And now it looks like we're at least one step toward a conclusion in, in this whole thing. Very sad. Devastating very sad. for the community. Yeah. Our own community, the entire state has been captivated since Saturday morning, right. since her disappearance. And this is not the ending right. that any of us had and hoped really for. And really across the nation yeah. as people looked out, hoping that it wouldn't end this way. We'll have much more uh, on this story. We have reporters up in Logan right now, a team of reporters and photographers. So much more coming your way with Saray and Glenn at 4 o'clock and then more at 5 and 6 and 10 tonight. Thank you very much for watching.